hat mal kommen wir als Kandidat. I continue to thank you people for your continued engagement and support of what is happening in their country today. Let me start today by most sincerely express my heartfelt gratitude to all those who supported us in 2023 election especially the youths and first-time voters who sacrificed everything despite all the obstacles, distractions and everything to support what we're doing, believing in the possibility of a new Nigeria. Today is the beginning of our financial accountability, especially the crowdfunding managed by a team led by Aisha Yusuf. And she's the one that will do that, will follow up after her presentation. Thank you for your support. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency. Thank you very much, uh, everyone. Good morning, gentlemen of the press. I always want to add ladies, ladies, to those I just please. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, gentlemen of the press. Uh, it's, it's an honor being here, standing here, and representing the fundraising team. We had uh, a campaign crowdfunding where Nigerians were asked to donate to the campaign uh, of Obi Baba Ahmed campaign of the, for the 2023 uh, election. Today we are having that campaign fundraising report presentation. Accountability and transparency is very critical and it's very important. And at any time that we ask people to donate and they do so willingly, it's very important for us to come back to them and show them how their monies were judiciously used. The mandate of the Crown Funding uh, uh, Fundraising Team was as follow. His Excellency Peter Obi gave the following mandate to the team, and that was to raise funding from Nigerians using the campaign's official accounts and ensure funds are judiciously used to support the presidential campaign of His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi. For this particular presentation that we are doing today, we are specifically concerned about the Obi Baba Ahmed campaign, for which there were accounts, four accounts that were used. These accounts are Zenit, uh, were accounts in Zenit Bank, Heritage Bank, Globus Bank, and also Sterling Bank. They were made public by His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi, and citizens were asked uh, to donate as generously as they, as they wanted to. At this juncture, we must say we thank everyone that donated in cash and kind. It's not been easy, especially with the kind of mindset we have in this country where we don't think as citizens we are supposed to donate. But indeed, citizens came out and they put their monies uh, where their votes are and they were ready to use their money and not wait for, as usually we see in our climb, for the candidate to be the one uh, bringing in that money. And for that, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. We go on to the activity and resource uh, report. For donations from citizens, we received 595 million naira, 976,994 naira. This is the amount that we raised in these four banks, bank accounts that, that we talked about. I know there have been reports out there that there were billions of uh, naira that were uh, raised. Some even said hundreds of millions of dollars. Well, we, 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 we hope we'll see those monies, and if there are people out there that can help us track those monies, we would want to see them. But what we received specifically uh, was this particular amount. Five hundred. And, let me repeat it once again: five hundred and ninety-five million naira. 976,000 uh, naira, 994 uh, naira. We also received 
800 million naira from the candidate himself. And I know some might wonder, how did we know that these monies were from the candidate? How were we able to differentiate them? These were monies that were put in by the candidate that were, going to, were supposed to be used to pay uh, for the polling agents. So we knew that they came in four tri uh, trenches of 200 million uh, naira each. And that was what gave the total of 800 uh, million naira from the, the candidate. We design a strategic blueprint focused on channeling the movement's energy to support uh, His Excellency Peter Obi and Baba Ahmed's uh, election in collaboration with different support groups. Remember, we had a lot of uh, support groups and we worked together with them. We provided direct and indirect support to over 100 support groups across all 36 states uh, in Nigeria. Also mobilized and supported over 100,000 grassroots organizers across the 36 uh, states uh, in Nigeria. We also deployed media-related campaigns that reach over 11 million people, leveraging over 40 radio stations, community outreaches, and social media. Would have loved to have used uh, uh, television and all of that, but because of our, our financial constraint, and we're very mindful of being uh, judicious in our usage uh, of, of the funds that we receive and being able to reach uh, more people. So we limited what we had to just uh, radio. So out of all of this thing, uh, campaign materials worth 268 million naira, 374,330 uh, naira were procured and distributed across the 36 states and also Abuja. Media and radio broadcasting cost was about 16 million naira, 422,867 uh, uh, naira. Election promotion expenses, we had 10 million eight hundred and eight thousand nine hundred and forty eight naira that we use for election promotion expenses. For polling unit agents, we spent three hundred and twenty four million naira, three hundred and eighty one. 1,700. And then we had bank charges, of course. The, the banks didn't warehouse the monies for us for free, and we had to pay 1,750,544 uh, uh, naira for bank charges. We also had administrative uh, charges, which were 477,000 naira. We deployed 744,500 uh, 744 million 500,000 to cover legal expenses. And then campaign and election activity, we had another 28 million five, uh, 500,000 naira. Let me just piggyback to on the issue of legal fees. Remember what I said earlier, we had 800,000 that was brought in by the candidate himself. We did what we did, 800, what, million. 800 million. Thank you so much for that correction. We had 800 million that was paid, given uh, by the candidate uh, himself. And so we, we, we are supposed to use that to pay. He had about one point something billion uh, marked to pay for the polling unit agents. Wow. One point, so a mark to pay for the polling uh, unit uh, a, uh, agents, and then when we got to to that towards the election, there were some materials, of course, that we couldn't produce. A good number of the materials were produced by uh, most of the. Uh, it producers here. We have the team lead. He will take one on that. We will come to him uh, very shortly. But I just need to give this background uh, explanation. And so, some monies came in when it was like a week to election. They have two weeks to election. So we couldn't produce any of those uh, campaign ma materials. And we made the decision that we're going to put some of that monies from the public, put it towards payment of polling unit agencies is still part of the uh, election expenses and this is what our citizens had donated uh, to, towards. So when we did all of that, we found that, that, that the, the agents that we had, the amount that we had to pay for them, we had such leftover. And so the candidate himself now asked on the way that this money were being were paid for uh, legal fee. So that's why you see the legal fee being, uh, being high up, up there. 
So I'm, uh, at this moment, I'm going to call on the, on the team uh, lead in terms of our procurement on how we, the steps that we took to ensure that every penny was judiciously used uh, in a way that we're able to get the most material that we, call, uh, we can. So at this moment, I call on Mr. Century. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you for entrusting to us. But what we, I want to basically portray is the philosophy that guided how we manage these resources. Because it was important that the resources that were given to us, we managed them judiciously and ensured that they delivered on the real reason why Nigerians gave us those resources. So the first thing we did was that we adopted a merit-based procurement process designed to ensure that we get value for money. So we put out a call for vendors within the movement, people who have invested a lot, used their resources to support the campaign without being paid was a, very, was a major criteria. People who have put so much into the campaign and they were professionals in what they do. We asked them to send their bids and we had a committee of people who looked through, who, looked, who observed several bids and then we had a framework that we adopted to arrive at the vendors that we used in um, delivering some of these materials across different um, areas of the campaign. Then the next thing we did was that we adopted a skeptical approach to fund requests designed to ensure funds are used judiciously. So beyond just people giving us their quotes and requests for funds and everything, we, we asked questions, we were critical, figured out the, their business structure, how they were running, their capacity. We wanted to ensure that we leveraged resources wisely. And I'm proud to say that, and the team is proud to say that, of the different vendors that we engaged on across different tasks delivered exceedingly well. They, they delivered based off of the resources they were given, given to them. Then we also adopted a framework to ensure these boss forms were used judiciously. Very important. We want to ensure that when we give resources to um, vendors, people who worked on the project, that they use these funds judiciously. We, did, we adopted that process. Then fund disbursements were made with approval from His Excellency and to other signatories to provide constant oversight. So whatever decision we took in terms of disbursing funds, we are made with the full acknowledgement of His Excellency and also um, signatories to the account. So no funds left the account without the approval of His Excellency. So as to provide constant oversight. Now conflict of rule, interest rules were established to ensure decision on fund disbursement are made based on value and merit. It was very important to ensure that there were no conflict of interest. So you would find a situation that whereby members of the procurement team, members, key decision makers, had no role in terms of, so you, there, were no, there were no conflict of interest. What, was, what, what went by conflict of interest? It was a policy that monies would not flow into private accounts, it was to flow into um, um, business accounts. And no member of the official team in any way had any access to whatever funds they were disbursed. It was very important to ensure there were no conflict of interest. So we made decisions based off of the merit as opposed to any conflict of interest. So that was a core philosophy powered by the virtues and values that our His Excellency stands for. That, that the values he stood for influenced how we disposed our assignment. Thank you very much. Process which I'm sure and follow up in due course in other areas. Because we've come to the end of this exercise. It is now time to account to those who supported us, be able to brief them. We're also going to commence our thank you talk to express our gratitude and continue in doing the right thing for Nigeria. Because you can't just say it's only when you're in office that you're going to do the right things. It is something that you have to do continuously. Thank you. Okay. Is there a question? You came the last time. I'm not the last time. Online news portal where we update events per second. Now, this is a very good, I won't say it's transparent to an extent, Nigerians. I've been waiting, you know, to know, I've been following up to know how this money is going to spend it, especially with the trust they have, uh, you know, with uh, This is for Nigeria. My concern is um, 
the diaspora contribution. That will be another uh, period where the money is realized, you know, from uh, Nigerians in the diaspora. Would also, because they would also want to know if monies came in, how was it uh, utilized judiciously, and uh, to know where further support will come upon. And uh, I believe that uh, that's that's the next step because um, that that will be the next conversation that will start happening because people will start talking. So would like to know monies that came in from the diaspora and um, how your how it was expended. Very, very great work. To me, okay. Let me. Yeah, you want me to. Okay, let me. Um, let me start. First is that, like I should not mention, there's been all sorts of comments and allegations. If I, one of the people who mentioned said we received about hundred and fifty million dollars. Let me categorically state it that all the funds received directly or indirectly from that is not up to one is about not up to one percent of what is mentioned. And this some of it are part of what has been exchanged and given to Aisha. We actually going to go to the various people who supported us in diaspora to say thank you and tell them what was realized. And we also are going to put a, an information out there that whoever knows where funds are supposed to have been remitted to help us trace and get that. But know that People are claiming we received about $150 million. And as said here, we didn't have seen 1%. And I stand for anybody to dispute or prove that. Okay, so, the next question. Okay. Okay. Yeah. In the right direction. But you see, as you are doing this for your campaign organization, what becomes of the party? There are so many allegations. And uh, somehow you have not spoken. Uh, I've already the chairman has been accused of stealing money, even Aisha herself was accused. Uh, so, what is your comment to that? What we're doing today is distant and completely separate from the party and the party fund. We're just dealing with strictly with the campaign fund. And I've told everybody, then whatever we received, directly, indirectly, will be accounted for transparently. For the party, I'm a member of the party, and they have chosen to say I'm the leader. What we need to do in the party, and I discuss it with the leadership, is that we must now appoint a reputable audit firm to audit and be able to deal with the accounting of the party. <laughs> when I'm involved with anywhere money is, it must be transparently nice. So there's the allegation, a counter allegation now, that must be thoroughly investigated and verified. I will reconcile it and know exactly what we're doing. That is for the party. What we're doing here is accounting for the campaign. And I'm using the opportunity also to appeal to various support groups or individuals and parties that receive form form of funding to support what we're doing, which we're very grateful to account to those they receive it from. Because there's some people who support us on support groups, there's some people who, even abroad, who collected money and said they're going to use it to work in the north and everything. We were not stringent that everything you collect must come to us. But we want whatever is collected to be accounted for. And that's why we're appealing to the public, 
If you think this happened here and everything, let us know. Can thank you, you. No, before you go, okay. oh, Thank you so much. Uh, because I just saw part of the question was also directed uh, at me uh, on the issue of allegation of uh, monies being uh, uh, misappropriated. So the first thing is that every donation that we collected on the Obi Baba Ahmed campaign were paid directly into the campaign accounts. And I can categorically state here there is no Nigerian living or dead who gave Aisha Yusufu a single kobo. Not at all. Even His Excellency that we were doing anything for would not give us anything to collect. He had to pay into his account. So for us, we're very strict. I'm sure you heard what, what Mr. Century did talk about. We're very strict in terms of ensuring that everything, we're skeptical. We put ourselves on the line and ensure that every dime that was collected was paid into it. Just to give a little bit of uh, an experience, there were some people who wanted to give money directly and I didn't collect. There were some who even reported me to His Excellency, Mr. Peter Obesity, uh, right there. So there is no money. But if there's anyone that has any money somewhere, please, we're very, we really want to let them come forward. We love, we love that. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Mr. Yes, Excellency. Yes. 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 They said they were not going to talk about it because it involved you. So, from what she said, it, they were not going to to talk about it because it involved me. Yes. Okay. So that's the true side of it. Thank you very much. Uh, let me start by what you said. Why do I have to wait till now? You're talking about the Labour Party issue. Yes. I want us to again understand. We have two distinct positions. You're talking about Labour Party, am I right? Labour Party account. I don't think I would say, uh, am I right? Yes. Yeah, yes. so it is Labour Party. I don't think uh, I waited too long. The, uh, the election was conducted when? February last. Thereafter, we went into litigation, which ended up when? In November. So, I couldn't have been going to court and be talking about Labour Party accounts. And after, after ending that, we're in December, which is when we started even recovering from all the activities of being in campaign from 2022, ending in end of 2023 and we're just in first quarter of 2024 i don't think this has happened before with any party in nigeria counting this quick tell me one you know in nigeria we're used to blaming those who want to do the right thing mm. and leaving those who have been doing the wrong thing over the years we are now in accounting immediately within the first quarter of 2024 I remember when the case ended last year, I said, in 2024, we'll spend it going around to talk and everything. And we just started the process. I could have been calling auditors last year. We're now going to call them and everything. And again, like I said, this is not, I'm not involved in the party accounting. I'm not part of the party management. If you know how party function, the party is being run by the elected executives of the party for national working committee to that, which I'm not, I'm not signatory. Even the account campaign and anything, I'm not signatory to any. I'm not signatory to any group account. Everything is being managed. The ones people gave me. I paid it into one account or the other, which was properly managed. Because I know there will be a day like this. And I assure you, we will account for everything. That's why we are calling on every member of the public, local, international, and everything, who have a lead to where he thinks these billions and millions we are paid into or given to somebody cash. And I must say, Thank you to Aisha, because what she said here is, you know, I've had people who have come to me and say, oh, we went to Aisha to give her this money, say, she doesn't want to take money, this, and I will always say to them, well, listen, pay for this for us, pay for, 
People actually some of them was more in kind than in cash. Because we had people who paid for our logistics, transport, flight, this, that, paid. Which we were grateful. And we're going to go to them to say thank you. But it's important. For the labor one, I've told you how we're going to solve it. We're not going to solve it by saying, she said, he said. We now have an independent person who will tell us which way forward. Thank you very much. The second part of it, sir. Hmm? The second part of it, which is? that you are involved in some meetings. Right? Oh, well, listen. Of course, I've, this year, I've had meetings. I've been in a meeting where she said so, and I and directed them. I appealed to them to go and resolve it. You know, I just did. I directed them to please go and resolve this. You know, but today is in public domain, and the public we owe the public as a transparent listen. I don't stay around where issue of funds either mismanaged or embezzled is being discussed. I was governor for eight years, and I said it. When I left that office, I still said every day I have opportunity. I left $150 million and that's something billion naira, which I was known that there's nobody holding gun for me to do that. And that the same thing is what we're doing here. Yeah, I just want We have people who maybe a group of this, they can tell you this group, sending maybe $50,000. You know, uh, so it's not um, but uh, the most important thing is for you to understand that the, the magnitude of the claim, I said it's not up to 1%, it's probably under $1 million oh. dollars, and, and if at all. Uh, and put together is what you, you, you channel it. No, no, I said part of it, oh. because some actually came in kind again, but I would cut that the nation. Some people brought some, they paid, we can say, oh, you're doing this, why don't you pay for this for us? We are looking for somebody who has done maybe t-shirts for us and everything. People, we had more support in kind and in cash. You know, we had all the various support. We are counting here in Aisha on his crowdfunding. And he told you what they received because it is in crowdfunding that people say we receive 100, 200 billion. You know, so we want to know the account, where the monies are paid into. Because people might have opened the account in our name unknown to us. Yes. So we're not giving you, so those who paid the billions can say, this money is in this account, bank, and we'll go there and locate it. Because it's not impossible, the way things are in this country. Somebody must have opened that account in our name or in the industry. And Last question, please. Point. <laughs> okay, I'll just say one from my side, sir. Uh, yes. There have been a lot of talks about um, opposition uh, candidates forming uh, a merger in order to, you know. Today is accounting <laughs> party. <laughs> 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 You know, if you know, if you miss it, we we'll miss it. You to take off the sign of what we want. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. no. Let, 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 let me plead with you people. Let me tell you. It's always easy to get you. Not as possible time, because it's important that we talk about the state of the nation. Today, I want us to talk about this. And I want you to accompany us. I hope you accompany, yes, yes. accompany us where we're going to talk about issue of one of the most critical areas of development. You know, this week is from Sunday actually today is like week of the sick. Talking about health, so I want us to visit maybe a primary health care center and everything, and see how things are. And there I can make about comments about. Uh, budget, budget support, budget for funding, health sector, and then we'll take it from there. Thank if you ask Asha, you will look for me. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. No, hey, Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.